video for the Model X guest appearance. Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And in this video, we're going to go over 2019.32.2.11. And this is the early release. So what you're seeing right now is actually a new thing that you can watch inside your car, which goes over current features. So let's jump in and look at the release notes. So first thing that we see is the Cuphead Tesla edition. And if you want to see something like I did with the Beach Buggy 2 Racing where I went live and played it for you guys, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll do that with Cuphead, but you won't see that here. Next is Tesla Theater, which adds Netflix, Tesla tutorials, and YouTube, which is really cool. And we're going to dive that into that later in the video. Karaoke, which is awesome. I got to play around with that. You'll see that later in the video as well. It is fun and driver visualization and automatic lane changes. That's stuff that you guys have seen already and that's like where the car is gonna show you where it's going and you can also pinch and zoom um, in the user interface in the car and see more around you and kind of rotate. We're not gonna go into that in this video here. Feeling lucky and hungry have been added now to the nav, uh, nav screen and also maps have seen a drastic improvement um, and as far as you know, giving you ratings and all that. Sentry mode now saves to a different folder and Joe mode allows you to kind of tone down the volume in some alerts in the car, which is a nice feature. So software updates have also gotten improved and now it's gonna show you what software update you're gonna to go to, which is great. And last but not least, the app launcher has been changed. If you saw one of my previous video, that was one of my biggest complaints. So if we pull up the app launcher here, you're gonna see that the phone icon has been moved all the way to the left, like I suggested in one of my other videos. So Elon must be watching my channel. Nah, bro. Okay, probably not, but really happy to see the phone icon over there. Now, kind of along with moving these icons, I wanted to see if they added the ability to physically move, like using a long press and moving the icons around. I did try that and it wasn't working for me. Um, so like, you know, I think that that's gonna come in the future where you can kind of long press like I'm doing here. And then they, like an iPhone where you kind of, they start bubbling up and then you can just move them wherever you want. All right, but let's jump into, now we have entertainment. So arcade and theater is now under the entertainment tab and that's only available when the car is in park. So let's first jump into YouTube. And uh, do you guys know any YouTube channels that we could search for or YouTube videos we could watch? Okay, this is gonna get really weird, multi-dimensional, because we're gonna pull up the all-electric channel and we're gonna watch an all-electric video in the car while you're watching an all-electric video Okay, back to this YouTube app itself. Like this app is really good. This is, I would say, identical to what I would expect on like a touchscreen PC or like something like an iPad. This is really refined and I really think that version 10 is gonna be pushed out to the entire fleet really soon just because of how smooth this runs. I mean, this is running really, really smooth. Yes, the car is on Wi-Fi here. It says only is gonna work on Wi-Fi although there have been some reports of this working over cellular networks, but much like, I mean, this is awesome. I mean, it's playing YouTube and it loads fast and there's no lag and the audio is perfect. Step ahead, you can see there how it dives into the left lane from the right lane. So here we go with another test and autopilot is engaged. You can tell that by the blue circle there and it wants to dive right over into that left lane. So I got a lot of tests here, so. And you can see here, I'm scrolling up and down. And something that I really noticed that is awesome is you can actually click on these timestamp links in the comment section. So if you leave me a timestamp comment down below, you can click on them in the car and it's gonna take you to that part of the video. So like that is really cool. I mean, this is a full-fledged YouTube app. I messed around with several other beta software versions from Tesla and this by far is the smoothest. I mean, you can see it's playing a video up there. I mean, there is very minimal lag. And if you haven't done so yet, you can hit that subscribe button while you're in your car. I mean, that really is so awesome. This is a full, there is, you have every single feature in this YouTube app that you would have on any other device that you own. 
huge, huge shout out to Tesla. I mean, this is a great job. All right, now that we've seen a couple YouTube videos and you can see how smooth it is, let's jump into the Tesla tutorials. I mean, so let's imagine that you just bought a Model 3, you don't know anything about it. How cool is it that you can actually be in your garage or at a supercharger and start to learn things about your car with these awesome videos from Tesla? I mean, there's plenty of videos here. It looks like you can even sign in. It looks like this is just kind of a quick link to their website, just how this page is set up here. But it plays all the videos very smooth. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I really think that this version 10 is gonna be pushed out really soon to the entire fleet, just because I haven't found one bug. I've been messing with this for about 45 minutes or an hour, doing everything new to this software version, and I haven't found any bugs yet. What's cool here is you can actually utilize the entire screen and make this video full screen. So you get this great video from Tesla showing you how to use your Tesla inside your Tesla. I mean, what more can you ask for? You don't need a user manual when Tesla is gonna push out high quality videos like this and put them in the vehicle. I mean, how sweet is that? Like no other car manufacturer is even coming close. They probably still pass out the paper manual showing you how to use the features in the car, whereas Tesla includes these videos now with your car when you pick it up. So everything you need is right there. I mean, that's really awesome. So let's exit the full screen here. Now that we checked out Tesla tutorials and we're gonna go into Netflix and just like the YouTube app, I mean, this app too is really refined. Like, just like you would expect, Netflix starts playing the first video and you can kind of scroll through content, see what you've recently been watching. I mean, this is an awesome app. So now you can see there, it's right at the top, we can switch to arcade. And it looks like they've added new artwork to some of these older games that they've had in the Tesla arcade for a while. So we got some really nice artwork now with like, let's say, Asteroids. Uh, although it's the same game, it, the game hasn't changed. Really nice how they packaged all the entertainment options under one tab. Now let's jump into the map. So we see the Hungry and Lucky. Lucky, I think, just gives you a random point that's close to you that you can kind of drive to, versus Hungry will give you a restaurant or some place that you can eat at maybe you haven't tried before. So once you pull up a location on the map, this is gonna look a lot different for you guys. So you're gonna see the title, like for this example, Buffalo Wild Wings, and now we have a, out of 633 reviews, it's got three and a half stars. And you can see it's got two dollar bill signs. So it's like not super expensive, not super cheap. So it's like kind of in the middle, right? But look below that, you can call it, you can navigate, but you can also go right to the website. I mean, that is fantastic. That is so useful if you just, you know, you wanna pull up the menu or something like that. Great job, Tesla, way to include that. Now the next thing that we're gonna go over is the karaoke. So not karaoke, but karaoke because it's in your car and that's actually in the media or in the radio player. So you can select the song and then it's just like you're in karaoke. Now you can only do this in park because you have to read the words on the screen and now this blue line is going across when there's no words and then just the songs are playing until you get to a point in the song where words come up like here and you can see that the words highlight just like karaoke when you're supposed to be singing that with the song. So the audio is playing right now, obviously I've cut it out of this video, but really refined. I mean, this is awesome. How fun is this? Like, you don't need to go to a karaoke bar or something like that anymore. You can just leave your car in your garage, have friends over, and everybody sit in your car and sing karaoke. Really awesome. Click the link down below and head over to Patreon and support this channel for as little as $1 a month. Higher tiers actually get early access to all of my YouTube videos, which is pretty cool. Huge shout out to my all electric tier supporters, our man of men, and I cram a tool. Thank you so much, guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one.